We know that the derivative of the arctan function is 1 over x squared plus 1. But why is that the case? Let's prove it. We'll begin by taking tan of both sides. The intention is clear. Tan and arctan are inverse functions, so they'll cancel each other out, giving us our input, x. And now, we can find dy by dx by differentiating both sides with respect to x. The derivative of tan y is secant squared y, but because y is a function of x, we have to use the chain rule and multiply by dy by dx. The derivative of x is, of course, just 1. And now we can find dy by dx, which is the derivative of the arctan function, by dividing both sides by this secant squared y. With this, we are pretty much done, except we don't want to see any y terms in the answer. This secant squared y has to be rewritten purely in terms of x. Is there a way to do this? Well, remember that tan y is our x, and we know that secant squared is tan squared plus 1. Tan y is x in our case, so secant squared y is x squared plus 1. So we can replace it with this expression, and with that, we're done.